Welcome home, sweetheart. Oh, goodness. What are you, okay, so how many do we set out? Six traps. How many do you think we got? Two. I'll say three. Kay. I think we got three, so. Okay. Well, we're back at the farm, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, and uh, we set some mouse traps. So we gotta see, cause we had some mice scurrying in our blankets. Nobody likes, I like a cuddle buddy as much as everybody else, but not with mice. So let's see what, let's see what we got. One swing and a miss. It's off though. Two swing and a miss. Yeah, these are all set off. No peanut butter? No peanut butter. We got, we got botched on those. Third one word. Oh my gosh, that's a mouse. I don't know why I didn't see it. I was looking over there. <laughs> oh golly. Yeah, that's a, that's a moose right there, son. Oh, there's another one. All right, there. Look at that guy. You cannot be having this. So that's two. You said something. Oh, I see a tail. I see another one. Oh my gosh, we got four. Oh jeez. Bruh. Oh my oh, gosh. Geez. Take that guy. I like these mouse traps. Though you don't even have to touch them. Look at this. Right on my bed. Have some respect. Come on, oh dude, I just got, okay, I'm getting everything soaked in mud. Uh, soaked in mud. Brand new camper, getting all muddy. Woo, all right, so we got four for six. Not bad, honestly. So we're gonna set them back out because we cannot be having them. And we, we've got other stuff, we've got these little smell bags, but clearly they're in there, there's food, and uh, you know, they're, they're, just, they're just staying at the Flare B&B. You know, I can't blame them. But today we have to go check all the traps. We have a lot of traps, we have Austin, how many traps we got? 21. We got 21 traps. I believe it's five or six live traps, and then I think the rest are dog, nope. Five or six dog traps, three beavers, and then the rest are dog proofs, like a dozen or more dog proofs that we have out there. So we're gonna go rip around. As you can tell, it's raining, it's muddy, it's not pleasant, but we gotta go check the traps. You gotta go check them. You gotta make sure there's nothing in it. If there is, you gotta take care of it. So we're gonna, we're gonna go see what we, see what we can find. Let's go, Bonzo. Well, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a, uh, a lot of honkers doing it dirty on the old deal Ducks Diner there. So, uh, yeah. Sick. Glad we're setting traps. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad there's not any rain on the lens. Perfect. Oh, God, it's raining and it's cold. I don't like this. We got a lot of honk daddies down here. Of course, as soon as we start trapping, the birds come. Look at them. Look at them. Goodness. Look at them, that's our field. That's our field, look at them. Bro, what the heck? They're Perfect. literally doing it dirty. Like, that's our duck blind right over there. They're doing it dirty in our cornfield right now. And there's more over there, too. Nice. Oh, look up here on the ground. Yeah. Like, oh, my. Uh, oh, oh. No, no, they're most of them are on the ground. All right, it's pissing. It's absolutely pissing. Look, sick. We don't have anything. There's uh, no food in that one either. Trail camera, nothing in here. Where's the, where's my honey bun? Bruh, they took the honey bun. How did they do that? Dude, this camera is getting ruined right now. We're moving the traps. This is the second time we've set them out here with not much luck. So we're gonna put them back by the farm. Wow, it's coming down. I'm sorry if you guys can't see anything right now. This is brutal. 20 minutes later. Well, first one knocked over. So are they kick are they kicking it over and getting the food out? Oh my gosh, dude, there's not there's like literally one or two nugs in there. And they so they knocked it over. No way. So we had that can on it. They knocked the can off. But they must have figured out that these are actually traps. Yeah, this can didn't fit very well either. No, so that we one. Need a bigger can. We need to figure out. How, we need to figure out what to put on them. But so they they physically knocked this one laying on the ground and then got the food got out the food it. out. So how do you combat that when it's mud? They're always going to be able to knock it out. They must know. I mean, they have to know it's a trap yeah. at that point. Maybe like you have to put like bricks. You know how like I I was or disguise somewhere. or disguise put, it. Let's put grass around it yeah. so it's just like to the top. We might need then, to put these in some bushes or something yeah. because. I mean, like, there's no way you can, if they know it's a trap, there's no way, unless you literally put bricks around it to where, like, they can't physically do it. But if they know it's a trap, they're not going to stick their paw on it. How are they, how are they figuring this out, dude? <sighs> we are just, we are just getting our butt kicked. We set out so many darn traps and just no luck. No luck getting them, uh, 
it's out on a butt. I think we've got two more ideas. And again, you guys have given us ideas too. Kendall Gray gave us the can idea. Obviously we had the wrong can, it didn't work. But one other option is a golf ball, which is what Jake said, put a golf ball in there. And I think the mice can probably knock that can off. I don't think a mouse could knock off a, a golf ball. It's, no, pretty, it it's pretty heavy and it seals it pretty good. That's gonna be our, our best bet. So actually we're gonna, we're gonna put it to the test. We did pick up some of this stuff the other day which is just cat food in a can. So we're gonna try these types of cans that kind of lay on it, but don't go completely over it. I don't know if the mice are still gonna get it. We don't seem to have much of a mouse problem here. It's more at the farm by the corn, more of the corn. We have an issue with the mice. So what we're gonna do here, we still have a lot of other traps. We have beavers, beaver traps to look at. We have coon traps, more dog proof snares, stuff like that with a lot of trail cams too. In this video, we'll probably go through all the trail cam footage um, and just to show you guys what we have because we've, we've got a lot of them. But on this property by the Beaver Dam, we're gonna put the cans and then we're gonna run to Walmart in town and then come back to the, the Ducks Diner farm area and put golf balls on it. We're gonna see which one works better. Oh, well that worked. I mean, the stick trick, there's nothing in it, but there's also food all around it. So there's just, I think the issue is there's not as much mice around here. And this one looks like uh, someone got smart, knocked it over and there's nothing inside. So they, they're literally knocking this thing over. You can see some spilt right here. They're getting the food out without setting off the trap. So I don't even think golf balls or cans would even matter in that case. I mean, they're, they're physically knocking it over. When it's muddy like this, there's nothing you can do. I mean, we're just have to wait for it to freeze, I guess, but so far, no luck over here. We've got a couple more set out though. We're gonna see. Oh, we get another one that knocked it down? Jimmy, why are smart. these suckers so they're smart? so smart. Dude, it's like literally gone. Just, they're just laying here. I mean, we pushed them all the way down to the ground, they're staked down. I think, I mean, the only thing you can do is literally wait for it to freeze. Yeah. Like brush it in, but wait for it to freeze. Yeah. I don't know. All right, so we got a raccoon. We, we did, and uh, I, I dispatched him off camera prior to showing you guys this. So if you guys don't want to see a dead raccoon or blood, you might want to just fast forward the video maybe, or just click out. Um, but we did catch one and I did kill it, and it's here and it's dead. Here it is. There you go, buddy. There's there's a good old Ricky for you. Got him in the dog proof. So this one looks like this one might have been buried. You might have buried yeah. this one. Do you think you did? I think I did. I can't remember. We have a trail cam, we'll, though. We'll know. We got a trail cam, so we're going to know. Although I'm not going to show. Some of you guys might want to see it, but like, I don't like dog proofs as far as you know, the, watching the animal struggle. It keeps them there. They're usually just chill. They go to sleep. You show up. You shoot them in their sleep. It's not that painful, but right when they get caught, to me, personally, I don't want to broadcast that because basically they're trapped, they're fighting for their lives. It's just not good. And, and it's not like it hurts them by any means. Like it just, it literally just pinches their paws to where they can't move, but I'm not going to show any of it. I have it on trail cam, so I'm going to see if that's the reason why this one got caught, if it was kind of buried up. So I'll know for my personal gain and knowledge, and then I'll can, I can convey that to you guys. But I'm trying to show respect to these raccoons and try to keep this as clean as possible. But at the same time, this is reality of you know the farm life of, of protecting the crops protecting the cattle you guys know the whole coyote spiel and these guys if you're new to the channel have been wiping out some corn a lot and a lot of sweet corn and that's why we're we're basically dispatching them all around the farm i mean there's corn there's corn right there right there and they they, they do you guys may not think oh you know they can't eat that much corn but they really do i mean they wipe out a lot there's a ton of them they're a menace and we're taking advantage of the season to get rid of as many as we can to hopefully have a better harvest next fall but anyways that's that's ricky ricky's done done for so we're gonna reset this one and then we gotta go to walmart the next day hello oh goodness gracious we're back at it folks it is the next morning where's these lights in this thing we got the golf balls wow look who sh look who showed up look who showed up big shoot big shooters in town the yeah. trap lord himself that means we're gonna trap a lot of things today we've gotten everything on the agenda as far as critters go except for possum so that's kind of what we're targeting today is possum. We set the traps out as you guys said, or as you guys saw, but what happened is we got caught in that big rainstorm and uh, going to Walmart and back just didn't sound all that pleasant. So we went to Walmart, went home, and then now we're headed back in the morning to go set up basically the traps again, put the golf balls on top of them. You guys saw we got kind of finessed on those. We're gonna see what we have. We, again, those live traps are already still out there. We already rebated those. We might have something in there. We might not, I don't know. It's raining, it's cold. Hopefully we uh, we can cook something up today. Oh, my laptop's falling. A few moments later. Woo, finally made it. And you guys know, you guys know the drill already. We're rocking at the Casey's. But wait, were you wearing flare hoodie? I 
Look at that. Oh, jeez. I'm bringing, flare, bringing back I'm the flare pro staff. There you go. I even brought back the hack. These are back in stock. If you guys want to check them out, the old fishing hat from this summer. But uh, we're gonna go rock some cases. What's the move? We well, already know. The case is pizza. Mm, 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 mm. All right. What are we? What are we? What are we mucking here? Oof. Oof. Bacon. Oof. What are you rocking today? You love a little good long john, don't you? I do. Yeah. Big Maple. long, big Maple. long john Maple. guy. Trapping time, baby. It's been just absolutely raining out here, so uh, the fields are a little bit, a little bit soaked. That's what we're catching cooking today, right? No. But we are out here. And uh, we gotta reset all the traps. We're gonna show you our new trick with the golf ball. We're gonna see if it works. But we're gonna set everything up and then tomorrow we'll come and check it. But we still have to go check the beaver dam. You guys remember we set a bunch of stuff up last night that we need to go check. Maybe we have a beaver. Maybe we have a possum. Maybe we have a raccoon. Maybe we have a coyote. There's a lot of options. Let's get these guys set back up. Oh, that's pretty good. Setting up live trap number one here. We're doing the old honey bun special. See if that works. And I'll, I might sprinkle some cat food around here and stuff like that, but. We're good to go. So this is the trick that we're gonna try. Golf balls. Now, we went with neon for one, that way it's easy for us to see the traps. Cause so right now we're kind of burying them in the bushes and stuff. Cause we think they're starting to figure out what's going on. Which you might think like, I don't, I don't think it'd scare them. Honestly, I think it might attract them. Cause they're not afraid of the traps. They don't really know it's a trap, but I think this will kind of help. So this is what we're gonna do. So right here, we got our trap. It's got food and on it and everything. So what you do is you put this on here. See, it's actually pretty heavy to where I don't think a mouse could do it because it's also pretty slick. And then what you do, get some of that honey on there. Just lay it right on top of that golf ball, just like that. That way, the scent, the sweetness, raccoons will come lick this, and as they're playing around with it, they're gonna knock the golf ball off, see the food, reach in there, bam! We get them, that's at least the plan. Look at all these chickens, cheese and rice. We are now headed to the beaver dam. We've gotten Screwed on this side, we've reset everything, then we got everything ready to rock and roll. We gotta head south, east, six, seven miles through muddy, muddy roads. You guys will see that today. Uh, but hopefully, fingers crossed, we got something that we can cook up. Here you go, this is what happens when you're not windshield wipers. You gotta do it your darn self. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, oh shoot! This is about to be bad. Dude, it's a river down here. Dude, that's way worse than it was. Oh golly, this is a bad deal here. This is ridiculous. So we're in 4x4 and give her the old Canadian to a step. I'm so tired of this stupid rain. I mean, just an absolute mudslide to get down here, but maybe we're lucky and we got something. If we went all the way this way with nothing, I'm not gonna be happy about it. Get the golf balls, get the food, get the gun. Let's do this. Got it. No beaver. I mean, they didn't even touch this at all. Nothing. It's still ripping. Have we caught a beaver where we set it up and then the next day? I think it's usually like we come and check it, there's nothing, and then like maybe the next, the third or the fourth day. Second, third or fourth day usually has the beaver. We'll let these guys sit. We got, we have a couple more dog proofs to check on the other side, and then a live trap or two live traps actually we gotta check. And then, uh, and that's pretty much it. So far, nothing on the menu for tonight. Well, folks, good news, we, uh, we got a possum. This is what we had, we had a feeling we were gonna get one. And we got one, and I, uh, well, Austin dispatched it. Look at him. We got lunch. Ranger Rick. The reason why we're dispatching was because we are gonna cook them. We we want to try uh, mainly Austin. You know, I'm not a <sighs> John. This is all I, on him. This you and is I are all kind of in the same boat because uh, yeah. possum soup. You you've been saying possum soup since day one of got down. We got down to the farm. Yeah. Like we got to catch possum. We got to make soup. Yep. As if that's like a thing. It is a thing. We're going to. Uh, all, I mean, I can show him to you. He's a little bloody, so. Your discretion is advised. But we caught him in the live trap here. Yeah, that's him. He's bloody and uh, dead and uh, lunch. There's no way it'll taste good. And you want to make soup. You don't even want to deep fry it in Frank's to where like, okay, for sure it's going to be all right. Vegetable, soup. Vegetable. Okay, awesome well, soup. he's yours. You get him out. 
This is a you thing. Demonetize, boys. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, well, that is a male. Yeah, he's um, he's packing heat. All right, let's go, let's go clean him. Are you yep. cleaning him, right? Uh, I don't know how to clean it. How would you clean it? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not familiar with cleaning rats. Eventually. Well, folks, got some gloves on. Definitely need gloves for this one. Beaver was a risk, not taking the risk on this guy. But we've got him hanging up here, and uh, I've already kind of just gotten a start on him. And all I did was cut from here up and down up to here and i've just kind of started to cut away at it but decided to turn on the camera since it's, since it is a catch clean and cook you guys need to see this stuff even though it'll probably get demonetized youtube might delete my channel but it's worth it like i said i basically just cut from here to here and then what you want to do is around each of the feet i'm just going to skin this thing literally just like i did like a raccoon i don't think it's going to be a whole lot different than that I'm just going to get it around here in this case, you want to do it so then you can pull off the meat like that. And then that's its leg, obviously. There's a little bit of meat on there. You do the same thing here. Same deal. Grab it. Grab it like this. And you can pull it down just like that. Then you're going to want to start cutting at the back a little bit around its tail. Get that part going. Got the tail off. Looks like this. And just cut some of this fat off just to get the pull started. And then once you get it basically 360, you just pull. Just like that. Dang, that worked nice. Pull down to its head until its feet start kind of popping out here. And then right here where its legs are, you just kind of cut through. Stick your knife through, cut down. Just like this. I guess the only thing that I might have, should have done before was cut off its hands, its, its paws a little bit. Because then, then you could just pull this clean off, but you can still do it. Once you make this cut right here, you should be able just to pull it away from its hands like that all the way down and then that's that's the joint right there then you can just take some scissors or a knife or whatever and cut same thing on this other side pretty much ready to go i think i don't know i feel like the only way we can really do this is quarter it we're gonna have to quarter it out and then uh take some back strap and kind of hope for the best and well, there you go quarter one wow that's like a it's like what you'd get from a rabbit kfc okay no that's what that's it looks like a rabbit honestly yeah so that's basically as much as the back strap as I could get was that strip and then little one arm there. So we can, I mean, that's not bad. And there's, there's actually a chunk of meat right here that I could probably stab at. There you go. That's, that's the front legs. That's a lot. The back legs look a little bit beefier too. I might even get some more, but definitely enough for a little catch and cook. Oh, there you go. There you go. That'll do. We'll, we'll trim that up when we get home. Finn. You want some possum? You want some possum? <laughs> you don't look that excited. Well, we are back. Here we go. That's what we're dealing with. This is untrimmed, unseasoned, unsoaked. I think there's a, the long ones were the front, right? And I think the back ones were the little nut. Regardless, we got a little bit of a back strap on this one and a little bit of back strap on this one. But what we're gonna do is this meat right here. Can we get some more light in here? Now we're good to go. Uh, okay, so this is gonna be soup these two are going to be fried. So we're going to literally do the whole Frank's gig in here. And this is all that's going to be chunked up for Austin's soup. I'm going to be handling the Frank's. Austin's going to be handling the soup. This is kind of what we came up with with all these farm videos is Frank's versus. You guys know Frank's is the best thing ever. Not sponsored. So far, it's been the best. Except for Beaver. I got beat by Beaver. Yeah, so my goal is just to beat the Frank's. Yes. So, so the goal is I do deep fried Frank's. If you guys don't know the recipe, you'll see here in a second. And then it's verse Austin, and Austin can come up with whatever he wants. He can do stew, he can do soup, he can do whatever he wants. And he, his goal is basically just to beat the Franks. That's pretty much the goal. We're gonna chop this up. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm not even really show much of this, but I just wanna show you guys kind of what we're dealing with the meat. I'm gonna trim all this up. We're gonna soak it in. What should we do? Milk or salt water? Probably milk. Soak it in milk for maybe an hour or so, and then we'll get to the cooking part. You guys stay tuned. Get yourself something. That's good stuff. So right now, Austin's stew is uh, soup. I keep saying stew. What's the difference between stew and soup? Okay, soup and frying. Same time, they're gonna get done about the same exact time. 
and uh, we'll see how they taste. This little nugget, this little nugget right here, this is what was in the, the soup. This is what's gonna be in the soup. We pulled them out. We wanna taste test it raw. Like not, not the meat's not raw, Just but not without any ingredients, no ingredients, no seasoning or really salt, pepper, whatever. But we got the stew cooking. We've got the deep fat fryer cooking. We're gonna give these a taste test. Oh, I was gonna cheers it. Oh, Finn, here you can have mine, big guy. You got sit. You got sit. You sit. You shake. Now, who shakes with two hands? I already ate mine. Mmm. Mmm. I don't think it tastes bad. It's really chewy. But it's really think, chewy. But did you think the flavor was bad? Yeah. It tastes kind of just like a. It would taste like a rabbit. Game that a rabbit has a little bit of game. Just, just heighten it a little bit. But if you look in here, it's gonna taste good in here. Probably. I think. I oh, think that'll taste it's... decent. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. But I'll be honest. So out of rabbit, raccoon, beaver, possum is for sure the gamiest. I yeah. would say that's raw. I mean, we didn't, but I we guess, didn't eat like beaver. We didn't eat beaver raw. like that. So that's not so, fair. Yeah. But I'm just letting you guys know what, what we're thinking. But we'll see when it gets done frying, gets Franks done cooking. Versus soup. It's the Frank's first soup. Oh, we should eat this first. Soup first, right? Soup first, yeah. Okay, Mace, you gotta come film. What? It's your time to shine. John's gotta eat some. Or eat, oh, here's your option: film or eat eat possum. possum. You possum. Do you want to eat the possum or do you Oh, want to hell no, I'm not eating the possum. All right, Give me the camera. <laughs> Here you go, John. Okay, so just, I would say first bite has to be just a chunk of possum. Yeah. And then after that, you can kind of dabble and mix it. Bony apple feet, boys. Cheers. Oh, that's not that bad. That's bad. You think that's bad? That's bad. What? Good. Mine's so chewy. Well, I don't think I can mean, swallow. What about the taste? <laughs> I don't think I can swallow. I would have said it tastes like dark dark meat chicken minus a little. Dude, that was not even that chewy. Mm -mm. Yeah, that was chewy. Wait till this. You can spit that. <laughs> spit it out. Grab another piece. Out. Oh my god. Okay, I like my. Piece. Try another piece because, dude, mine was mine was not bad at all. Just grab another little nug. Sauce sauce up the nug. Because if it's too back to back, then I'm not sure. Dude, mine was not that chewy. Not that bad. Like honestly, less chewy than rabbit, for sure. Less chewy than maybe the coon. Was that a little that better? That piece was better. So yeah. uh, okay, so what do you think on that one? I mean, it's still not good, but like it's eatable. Now you got to taste the possum soup. Oh, man. I just got a really fatty piece. I had a fatty piece. And it's and just it was, like I, chew, I, I chew, 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 chew. I could not do it. It's like there's no meat. But eat it with the stuff. Eat it with yeah. the noodles and. The... But the taste, just like, yeah, taste. Not bad. It doesn't taste gamey at all. Okay, take your piece, John. I'll let you pick whatever you want. Here, I'll have here, let's do this. Little... Okay, ready? Yep. One piece was kind of crappy. I need to get a better piece. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's all bone. That's what I, ta that's what I imagined chewy. possum to taste like. Mine was chewy. Yours was really chewy. Mine was really chewy and a lot more gamey. To tastes me, like rabbit. Yep. To me, it, it tastes yeah a lot more like what I expected. It's like it's not like it's bad that I want to throw it up, but it's it tastes like rabbit. Tastes a lot more gamey. It tastes gamey like rabbit would. Yeah. Like a fried rabbit. I mean, it's it's not awful by no means, but I think I'd rather eat possum soup. I think the you soup was better. I think you beat me. Out of raccoon, beaver, possum, rate rate it. What's the what's your favorite? Second, third. Beaver's top. Okay. It's hard because we only ate raccoon one way. Fried it, right? We only fried it. So we need to do it again. We need to do it again in like in a different way, like in a But compared to the the fried like this fried. Uh I would say raccoon was a little better. I think it was too. I so, agree. I think it was beaver, raccoon, possum. Awesome. I agree with that. Well folks, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, catch and cook, let me know in the comment section down below. There's not a whole lot we have left. Uh what did we decide? Around the farm, we're talking muskrat. maybe a muskrat, maybe. Otherwise, that's it, right? Unless you trap something in, like weird in unless your you snare. Want, unless you want to do a pigeon. A bobcat or something. Pigeon, maybe. We could, we could do some pigeon. Maybe a skunk. Comment some ideas down below of what you... Any other ideas. Maybe we're missing something. Crow or something like that. But I feel like we've always... We've done a lot of these videos. Hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, let me know in the comment section down below. Really do appreciate the view. I'm going to go throw up.